the main focus of this parent act is to rather bring sanity streamline things to make sure that the shipping line now have the power to sit on tariff or on negotiations and charges and fees that will be preferred against importer or exporter the Ghana Supreme Authority with this current act give them the teeth to bite anybody that go contrary against this current parent act can be sanctioned can be revocated the losses and whatever so where I sit as the executive secretary, this is a welcome news. And before this, this, this law was sent to parliament in the form of a bill, there was an engagement of stakeholders. In fact, at some point, even important as well association wasn't invited at that stakeholders engagement. However, in principle, because we were advocating that if the Ghana Supreme Authority really want to have teeth to buy it, because look, if one will bring a, a shipping cargo or a container to Ghana port, and you have not gone for any demolition, and you are clearing this cargo at the port, assuming you are having 10 containers on per one bit of leading, this shipping line will say you have to pay local handling charge. Hmm? Local handling charge, and some of them, it is 40 foot containers, some of them are charging over 10,000. 20 foot containers, some of them are charging over 7,000. And if Asaka is having 10 containers in one document, they are not saying 10 times for, for face value. They are taking 10,000 times 10 containers. If importer pay at the current state that we are, if an importer is able to get money, government to pay his duty and could not get money to pay for this local handling charges, no shipping line will release your cargo for you. And even the president cannot even call them that please release the, if the person has paid duty, release the container to the person. You, they cannot. The minister cannot. The shippers authority boss cannot. But with this parent act law that has come to streamline things, things will be fine for the, for the industry.